Hey guys, my name is Nick, and today we're joined by a very special guest. Oh yes, it's my ex-girlfriend. So last week I did a video of uh, a pre-release kit I got from going to uh, a Sun and Moon pre-release. And I really like doing that, so this past weekend I went to another pre-release. Now this one was a little different, we didn't get a pre-release kit this time, like the, the one from last time. But instead we got six booster packs to make a little deck out of and play a few rounds with. And then by the end I got two more packs. So I have eight Sun and Moon packs in total, two of which are still sealed. And I also got another Sun and Moon promo. Broxish this time. Well actually I got another Pessimian, but I traded it for this Broxish because I already had the... Pesimian. And so now that I have two of the promo cards, the collector in me has awoken and I'm not and I'm actually going to make an attempt to get all four of these. So I can already tell you that this will not be the last Sun and Moon pre-release video that I make. So we have eight Sun and Moon booster packs and of course I'll be giving away the codes. As for the codes from last video, I asked you guys what your favorite card was from the Roaring Sky set. And pretty much all of you went with Shaman EX, which is of course a very good card. But that also meant that it made it difficult for me to choose a winner. And so the first winner actually won by default by actually picking a different card than Shaman EX. Which was AJ Jirachi, who chose Mega Rayquaza EX with the Emerald Break, which is this card that we actually got in the last video. I don't know if that's why he specifically picked this one, or if it's actually his favorite card. But it was the only comment that went, went with a different card, so I kind of had to pick him. And so for the other winners, I just threw a dice to pick the winners at random. And the winners were Dep2 and P. Ross. So congratulations guys, you guys win uh, one of the Roaring Skies codes. And you should have received a message from me by the time this video goes live. And for those of you who didn't win, of course, do try again. Because this time we have 8 Sun and Moon booster packs. Which means 8 Sun and Moon codes to give away, which is the most codes I've ever given away in a single video. So a good chance to win one of the codes. We have my ex-girlfriend, who is of course a very pretty fish. Not the card, my actual girlfriend. You know, I could be boring and ask you guys for your favorite fish Pokemon. But let's keep it a bit more interesting by just asking you guys, what is your favorite fish? Any kind of fish will do, a Pokemon, a real life fish, or anything else. As long as it is in some way a fish, let me know why you like it in the comments below for a chance to win one of the code cards. So we'll start off with the six packs that I already opened and used to make my deck with. Now, without giving you any spoilers of what was inside, I can tell you that I did manage to get a pretty good deck. I should say before I start going through these cards, I put them all back sorting from five commons, three uncommons and then a reverse hollow and a rare like you would find in an actual pack. Although I didn't keep track of what was originally with each other in the same pack. So I kind of improvised on that part. But beyond that I didn't mess with the packs or anything. This is what I got from six packs. And so we're starting off with the lightning energy. Which was one of the elements I based my deck on. And then we have Stuffle. Cutifly. Chinchow. Wingle. Alola and Meowth, Lily, Rainbow Energy, Metapod, Lillipop Reverse Hollow, and a Ribbon Bee, which I actually found a very nice card to put in my deck even though I didn't have any Fairy Wind, simply because of that cura Curative Pollen ability, which allows you to heal 20 damage from one of your Pokemon, along with Cutie Fly of course. And then we have the second pack. We have a Dark Energy. More LOL. I really wonder if they're going to change the name of this guy in the, in the Dutch anime. Because I alluded to before that it, it really is a silly name if you read it in Dutch. And we have Picky Pack. Alolan Radata. Roggenrola. Rowlet. Granbull. Crocorock, Metapod, Reverse Hollow Alolan Diglett, and a Beware, which along with Stoffel of course, also very nice for any kind of deck. And then the third pack, P 
psychic energy. Another Chinchow. Barris. Fomantis. Alolan Grimer. Stuffle. Energy Switch. Pelipper. Pincer. Reverse Hollow Nest Ball. And a Cosmome. And so then we go to the fourth pack. And still no GX cards. Which is kind of unlucky if you consider the seven packs I opened with the last pre-release video, which also didn't contain any GX. So we have a Psychic Energy, Dratini, Dupiter, Drowsy, Cabrawler, Lillipup, Herdier, Puku Muku, very good card this, Team Skull Grunt, Lantern Reverse Hollow, this is also such a good card. So basically I made an electric water deck and the attack Aqua Spark, 60 damage plus 60 damage if you have a water energy attached. So water and electric work really well together. And a Crobat Hollow. And the fifth pack, starting off with a water energy. Oh, that did not go right. <laughs> a Litten, Poliwag, Cosmog, Eevee, Sandal, Golbat, Crushing Hammer, Quacker Rock, a Reverse Hollow Poliwrath, and an Incineroar. And then the last pack. Did I get a GX card? So we have a Fire Energy, Marini, Togedimaru, Cosmog, Young Goose, Skarmory, a Double Colorless Energy, Trumbeak, Experience Share, a Reverse Hollow Gortola, and did I get a GX? No, I did not. <laughs> Stoutland. Which, of course, to me is not a surprise. I already opened these, but... Yeah, I really did not get lucky with my pulls. So these six, along with the seven from last time, that's 13 Sun and Moon packs and not a single Jax card for me. But not all hope is lost, because we still have pack 14 and 15. You'd think that with 15 packs there should be at least one GX card, but unfortunately that is not how chance works. Now that I opened all those other packs, this pack still has the same chances as any other pack. There we go. And then it's four cards from the back because it's Sun and Moon. And we get an extra free energy card, which is always very nice. And we have a Fairy Energy, Team Skull Grunt, Poison Barb. If the Pokemon this card is attached to is your active Pokemon and is damaged by an opponent's attack, uh, the attacking Pokemon is now poisoned. That's a nice card. A Charger Bug, Sandy Ghast. Rog and Rolla, Cosmog, Fomantis, Alolan Grimer, Reverse Hollow Alolan Radicate. I haven't really looked at this one before, I didn't have it yet, but I hear it's a very good card. Let's see, you search your deck for a number of cards to the number of bench Pokemon and put them in your hand. Oh, that's really good. Evil Orders. Basically, if you have a full bench, you can get five cards. You can just get five cards. Eight if you use a Skyfield with this. And a very powerful uh, Endeavor attack. And so the last card... A Primarina. Still no GX. The last pack. Come on. Don't tell me that I got 15 packs and still no GX. That is ridiculous. Let's 
So here we go. The last pack, a fire energy, wishy-washy, a rare candy. Oh, they removed the little face from the rare candy. In arachnid, drowsy, crabrawler, sandal, Alolan Meowth, Picky Pack, Reverse Hollow Pokeball, and Gumshoes GX! <laughs> yes, I finally got a GX card! To be clear, I did not mess with these packs. That really is my 15th pack finally got me a GX card. Now I doubt this is the best GX there is, but I'm, I'm just happy that I got one at least. Let me just sleeve that up right away. Come on. There we go. So those were the packs. I am very happy that my luck finally came through. Again, if you want to win one of the code cards, leave a comment below with your favorite fish. And I'll pick my favorites and announce them in the next video. So that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching and have a very nice day.